Today we are going to be looking at the Chatronic U2's figurine. Um, this is a product that you can no longer get. Uh, I think pre-orders for this thing started in March. And uh, basically if you don't know what U2's is, it's a company that makes uh, figurines and plushes of you know, iconic characters and U2 personalities. And... Uh, and they only make certain products for a limited time, so if you missed out on a product, um, it's gone forever. Uh, you cannot buy it anymore. And this Chatronic figurine is no exception. But thankfully, my Chatronic figurine was able to arrive um, a, a week ago. So now let's take a look at the packaging, because the packaging is very fantastic. Uh, it almost reminds me of, like, the boxes for, for Funko Pops, like... Let's say, um, because, like, compared to the, it's almost around the same size, because here's my Officer Big Mac uh, Funko Pop box that I still kept. Um, they're almost around the same height, not, not quite, but you can, you can tell that, you know, they both have a, a stock image, or, or like, a, an illustration of the figure, and they even have an illustration on the top. And on the side, I'm not. I'm not so sure if this is a coincidence. It's probably not. I just thought it was funny, and and they also have them numbered. Like my Chetron U2's figure is numbered 91. Not so sure if it means like this is the 191st uh, U2's figure or the 191st like like in terms like Chetronic figures. So the back has a description. Basically, the description says, Behold, the world's most famous pillow-throwing man-child is now available in collectible plastic figure form. Don't be afraid of telling people you own this. I collect Beanie Babies, and there can't be anything more embarrassing than that. Maybe this figure can help decorate your bathroom or something. So I guess maybe this is supposed to be, like, Chatronic. Like, saying the, saying the description, since it's... In the first person view and on the bottom it says this is ages 15 and up and it is not a toy which um i mean it's kind of a figurine i guess maybe the glasses are kind of fragile so i could understand why they would say it's not a toy um also you probably can't see this but um i guess you can claim something on youtube.com by scratching here so i'm probably going to do this later for now, I'm going to open this figure up, and we will have a closer look at it. Before we take a look at the figurine, let's take a look at the inside of the packaging, because behind, as you open it, uh, there is a moose, which is from the, you know, the chat trunk room, and it says, very rare meme inside. So basically, it's so on the side, you get the traffic light that you see in chat trunk's room. There's also the, um, the shelf that's full of video games and character statues. The green gym locker and the dinosaur. Then there's the Chetronic sign, the glowing light bulb, the troll doll. Uh, some more shelves of video games. And yeah, I really like the insides. Ladies and fricks, here it is, the Chatronic U2's figurine. And this is a freaking cool figure. Uh, the sculpt is really well made. It's in the um, art style of the U2's figures. Um, I wasn't planning on um, getting this uh, figurine at first because I already have a plush of Chatronic from Makeship. Um, however, um, I, I, I did want to buy it uh, later on as like a makeup. For, because I originally wanted to get a YouTube figure of another YouTuber called Peanut Butter Gamer. But unfortunately, they were already sold out before I was able to get my hands on one. So I decided to buy the Chatronic, um, you know, when it was announced. And, you know, just to make up for not having that Peanut Butter Gamer uh, YouTube figure. You can see that the glasses are a separate piece. And um, just make sure, you know, like... Don't play with this figurine because I don't want you to lose the glasses. Um, the hair is really well made. It's not too blonde. It's not too dark. It's kind of basically the perfect Chatronic color. 
Um, his pose is based on that one, that one episode. I forgot where, you know, where that, you know, where that video, you know, where he was like screaming and he was in this pose. I forgot what uh, Chatronic video that was. But regardless, it's kind of a funny uh, pose. Then here's the back of the figure. You can see that he is holding his iconic uh, NES controller pillow. I actually kind of own... Um, I actually don't own an NES controller pillow, but I actually do own a Famicom controller pillow from Banpresto. You can see... Uh, you can see that the Nintendo logo is not on here for obvious reasons. And here's the, the bottom. There is the U2's logo. Uh, this is not a sponsor, but if you ever want to see any of the figures... You know that uh, that they make. You can go on youtube.com and order them. They're not available in stores, and they're only available for a limited time. So if you see a YouTube figurine of a YouTuber or a cartoon character you like, buy it immediately if you have the money for it. Because I know they made some, uh, you know, of these figurines for for other YouTubers. Like there was a Saber Spark. Um, there was the Peanut Butter Gamer. Um, as far as like YouTubers I watch, that's kind of basically it. Though I haven't, I haven't seen Saber Spark in a while, but I have been watching his videos recently. And they've also made like cartoon characters in the style. Like they made Arthur characters, Baldi from Baldi's Basics, uh, Banjo Kazooie, Mega Man, uh, Popeye characters. But yeah, that is it for the Chatronic YouTube figure. Um, I would say I recommend getting this because it's a really well-made figurine. It's really well painted, but unfortunately, you can't get them anymore. I mean, I mean, maybe somebody on eBay will probably sell them for like thousands of dollars, but I don't freaking know. But he would look good next to the Chatronic plush from Makeship, so which I already reviewed. So if you ever want to see my review on the Chatronic Makeship plush, um, you'll probably find it in the end cards or something. But overall, uh, thank you for watching this video, and like and subscribe for more toy reviews.